walk and I wanted to open up this video and give you some updates. I don't like talking in front of the camera anymore, but <laughs> my brain keeps forcing me to do it anyways. So here we are. I am currently walking and we are entering the 2023 prep video where I'm going to be showing you how I am prepping for the new year, setting my 2023 goals, making my 2023 vision board. Um, I reset my home screen to a new setup, just kind of freshening up and showing you some of my routines. But before we get into it, I wanted to just give you some updates. So I feel like I need to find a good spot to sit. If you don't follow on Instagram, you wouldn't know, but I took a little bit of time off of social media. I feel like that's like the, the freaking cliche thing for people on the internet to say. It's like, you must have noticed that I wasn't on Instagram. It's like, no, nobody cared. But I did, I took a little break from social media, as I do, because I cannot be on that all the time. Oh, here's a little tip. Okay. But yeah, I took some break. I took a break and I didn't post a December plan with me and I didn't post December wallpapers. And I basically just, I had to shut down. Just fell out of my routine. I wasn't planning. I didn't feel like it. I didn't feel like doing any of my routines. I did not feel like opening up my planner or planning my day or week or planning my month. Yeah, so I didn't feel like doing any of it. Um, but I, I had to push through for the 2023 launch. I launched the 2023 planners, which, oh my God, it hurts. Um, and I'm being a little bit dramatic. I made a couple of mistakes on the 2023 planner. I still don't know how. I don't know how. I, you know, I put 12 a.m. where it should have said 12 p.m., where it should have been noon. I put 12 a.m. I made it, I checked it a million times. I had multiple other people check it. I made videos with it. People bought it and like it went by for like a week or two. And then what somebody noticed that it was midnight and not noon. Um, and that was really frustrating. And I felt very defeated. I was like, I have failed. And I know it's very dramatic because it's like, it's a planner. I'm not like a surgeon or anything, um, but I was still very disappointed and frustrated at myself and just like, damn. So it was just like this whole wave and I was just like, I give up and I had to just take a break. But I'm here to say that even when you fail and you make mistakes and you are unmotivated, it's okay. These times are going to happen. Um, they are. We don't like them. We don't want them to happen. We always want to be happy and motivated and inspired. And when we are like, oh, like making our goals and setting our vision board, and it's like so exciting. But then there are times when that doesn't feel good. And you just feel like you can't. If you're feeling tired or burnt out or just like overwhelmed by some of the New Year's content on social media that I contribute to. I make obviously aesthetic, motivational, inspirational, whatever content on social media, which is like, I love that type of content. But sometimes when you're not feeling it, that content can be very overwhelming because you're like, oh my God. So just know that if you ever see any of my TikToks, my Instagrams, YouTube videos, I like the creative aspect of making shots look pretty and putting it together. In no way am I trying to be like, this is what your life should look like. Cause it's not. Because I purposely make things look pretty and take the time to make it look pretty because I like doing that for just, I don't know. It's just a creative choice. That sounded so much more pretentious than it is. It's a TikTok. It's really not that deep. So this was a long rant and I don't even know if I'm going to use any of this because people are like, just shut up and give me an iPad tip. 
which I understand because I love a good iPad tip, but every once in a while I do like to just update whoever is watching this, which by the way, we hit 100,000 subscribers, which I'm just gonna pretend like that isn't the real number. And I'm just gonna still pretend like I'm talking to one single person because that's the only person who's watching this video. So, hey, what's up? Um, what was I saying? If you're still watching this rant, comment. Comment, I love, I'm really in a movie phase right now. So comment your favorite movie you watched this year, if you're watching this. What's your favorite movie you watched this year that you think people should see? Let me know. That was random. Okay, enjoy the video.
All right, then came the time when I was ready to do some 2023 goal setting. Now, if you are getting ready to sit down and do your goal setting for the new year, I recommend taking a day to just reflect on the previous year. Just think about honestly what went well, what didn't go so well, what are some things that were working or not working for you. Really just take an honest, honest look and just be nice to yourself too. Like if it's not great, that's fine. Just being honest about what was working and not in the previous year and and think about some things that will excite you about 2023. Sometimes we go to write down goals and we get a little bit stressed out of like, ah, I have to like accomplish all of these things. But um, for me this year, I wanted to really write down some goals that were exciting me and, you know, getting back to the basics. You'll see if you, you know, pause and read any of my goals. I don't know if you do that. But if you are reading any of the goals here that I've set, they're pretty general. I am going to do another, you know, planning session by myself where I get really specific about things. But this one was more of just my intentions for the new year and really just trying to focus on mental health this year and organizing what I already have instead of trying to add so many new things, um, kind of just trying to work with what I have and really optimize it. My vision board this year is really representing my mental health goals of taking care of myself. I have learned this year that physical health for me is very much related to my mental health. I also put some reading and book inspiration. I set my reading goal for 35 books, which I think is doable. I've also gotten really passionate about skincare this year. You'll see I have that red face mask thing going on. Maybe I'll get into some skincare and wellness tech reviews this year. I feel like that could be fun. Also, just getting outside as much as possible and just getting back to the basics of taking care of myself and my body. And yeah, 2023 is just about going back to the basics, giving myself what I need. I decided to update my home screen. I like doing this every once in a while. I feel like it just kind of exudes a fresh start. I do have a video all about how to do this. I actually think I have two different videos all about how to do this and you can go check that out if you want a full tutorial on how to customize yours. But I just wanted it to be bright and colorful and fun and motivational. And I like adding little subliminal messages on my home screen for myself. Like I have my 2023 vision board there. I have a little self-love quote. I have a matcha that is a reminder to not have the third coffee because it will give me a headache. And I also have my full apple rings there that just remind me to get up and move my body. And of course, the cute clock. That's just for aesthetic purposes though. But yeah, this is the home screen for 2023, super cute. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys got something out of it, maybe felt a little bit motivated or inspired to do a little goal setting vision board session for yourself to just get a little bit inspired for the new year and just kind of bring in some new energy. Thank you again for 100,000 subscribers, you guys rock, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.